Assalamualaikum and good morning, good evening, good night, good day. Okay, today we are going to learn about polymer chapter 4. So this is the first subtopic which is 4.1 polymer. What is polymer? Polymer is a long chain molecule that is made from a combination of many repeating basic units. And those basic unit actually is a monomer. We call it as monomer. Mono meaning one. Okay. Polymerization reaction is the monomer combination reaction to produce polymer. Okay. Here we have monomer, a single unit. Through polymerization, polymer will be produced. The production of a polymer from monomers. Remember the names? Monomers. Monomers through polymerization process and we will get polymer. We have two types of source of polymers. The first one is natural polymers, uh, naturally available and can be obtained from surrounding. Example, starch, protein from the meat, starch from the rice and cotton from the cotton candy. No, cotton from the tree. The second a source of polymers is synthetic polymers, uh, man-made through chemical reaction in the laboratories or factories. For example, we have nylon, polyethylene, and polystyrene. Okay. Okay. Here are some examples of names of polymers and monomers. There are two types of source, which is natural and synthetic. The natural one, for example, is the starch. Uh, the monomer are glucose. Cellulose get from the glucose. So glucose, we have two types of polymer, starch and cellulose. Protein, we have amino acid as the monomer. Natural rubber, the monomer is isoprene. Polystyrene, the monomer is styrene. Polypropene, the monomer is propene. Polyvinyl chloride, uh, the monomer is vinyl chloride. You can see here the name with the poly words uh, at the front. It's quite easy to guess the monomer. Just uh, kick out the poly and you will get the monomer styrene, propene and vinyl chloride easy right okay type of polymer we have three types of polymer the first one uh, is thermo thermoplastic polymers a polymer that can be repeatedly remolded upon upon heating and can be recycled when heated the thermoplastic polymer melt and solidify when they are cool Example, we have polyethylene, polyvinyl chloride, and nylon. This is the ordinary plastics you have in home, okay? Like Tupperware, the plastic from the Tesco, uh, those things. Okay, the second one is thermosetting polymers. Cannot be remolded after heating. Thermosetting polymers normally disintegrate or burn upon heating and cannot be recycled. For example, we have melamine and bakelite. Melamine, um, in our country, we use as the uh, the plate, the sauce, the, the cup from melamine. And your own uh, plate in the, the one salaria, the round one, the white color, actually is the melamine. Okay, the third one is elastomer polymers can be stretched and can return to the, their original shape when released. Possess high elasticity properties. Example, we have polyurethane and styrene buta in rubber. Actually, the rubber, the rubber, the rubber itself. Yeah? The, the rubber tree produce the rubber liquid, the white color, and produce the, the things like your, your pillow, your mattress in Asrama. Okay, that, that is some of the examples. Okay, there are two types of uh, polymerization reaction. We have addition polymerization and second one is condensation polymerization. When monomers that have double covalent, covalent bonds between two carbon atoms react with one another. Uh, this is addition polymerization. Okay, addition, addition. The same monomer, just adding with one another. Okay, the second one is condensation polymerization. Involve at least two different monomers. From the name condensation, this reaction will release water and actually it releases another substance which is HCl. Okay, we'll see the equation afterwards. 
Okay, now we go to the first one. Addition, reaction. During the reaction, the double bond is open. Okay, actually one of the bond from the double bond will be cut out, open, and become single and single. Okay, monomers are added to the molecule chain to produce a polymer. Now, you can see here how many monomers we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. So each of the monomers have double bond in between two carbon atoms. Okay, two carbon, two carbon, two carbon atoms. We have the double bond. So we call this as ethene molecule. This is the monomer, ethene. Through polymerization reaction, those double bond will become single, 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 single double bond. And they help each other. Okay, carefully, friendly, and lovely. Okay, polymerization reaction. Okay. Uh, now the new substance, we call it as polyethene. If you count each two, okay, one, every every two carbon, uh, meaning uh, origin from one uh, monomer molecule. So, okay, one here, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, equal number with the monomers. Okay, so this equation is quite important. When the question asks you to write the uh, polymerization equation, which this is the reactant and here is the product, you just write this type of equation. Okay, this is the summary of chemical equation. N meaning the larger integer, any numbers 100, 1000, 888,000. Okay, but in your case, it doesn't need to be uh, the juta juta, no need. You just put the N. Okay, so we have N monomer. And you will become, and, and the reaction will produce N polymer. Addition polymerization reaction to produce polyethene. So this is polyethene. Um, if you if you can see here the name, even though the double bond is not is not there, okay, but the name is still ene 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 polyethene. So for polymerization, the name of the product will not change, even the double bond is. Is, is not there all right okay. this is ethene but this is polyethene the name still remain as the polyethene okay take notes now the second one condensation polymerization involve at least two different monomers okay two different monomers at least it's not the the same polymers all right two different monomers the monomers involved consists of two functional groups that will take part in the polymerization reaction the product of condensation polymerization are a polymer okay another byproduct product something and such as water molecules or hydrogen chloride molecules okay so this is these are two types of side product uh, that produce uh, during condensation polymerization okay now condensation polymerization uh, okay do we need to memorize all the equation no i just want to uh, bring you uh how how the water is produced okay right here we have one two the ethene diol we have oh at the end but the h will be taken and combined with the oh from tariff tariff talic acid okay and you will produce terylin okay terylin and water as the byproduct okay condensation polymerization reaction to produce terylin and water okay this is terylin okay you can see the the row it's just the one we can see from the curtain right to tie up the curtain this is the fabric this is terylin okay next one polyamide polyamide in BM, we call it is polyamida, okay? Nylon. So, this is the nylon rope and this is the nylon uh, cloth fabric. And some of the nylon fabric is very good. It is water resistant. So, condensation, polymerization to produce nylon. Like, if come from the 1,6-hexane diamine, the hydrogen will be taken and combined with the chlorine from decane diol dichloride. And it will produce hydrogen chloride as the side product. Here, uh, if the question asks you to write the product, you just copy all the molecules from the left side and the right side. And just combine at the at the place where the hydrogen and chlorine had been taken. Okay, and you will produce the nylon. 
colonization polymerization reaction to produce nylon and hydrogen chloride as the byproduct. The use of polymers in daily life. Okay, we have um, because the character of the synthetic polymer are good insulator of heat, inert and unreactive towards chemical reaction. Some of it, okay, resistant to high heat, lightweight, strong and hard. Okay, so we use this. Uh, material in our daily life okay these are some uses of synthetic polymers various medical and laboratory apparatus are made from polypropene or oh, the one the vials you put the blood inside it okay I think this the big one is for the urine maybe and the plastic bags yeah polyethylene is widely used as a plastic bags Nylon produce threads that are important for the textile industry. We have lots of colors here. And um, acrylic polymer for roof waterproofing. Oh, I think the same thing we put on the making of the, the highways, at the side of the highways. Okay, the white cloth, the white fabric, I think the same thing. Okay. Okay, polymers and the environment. Polymers are durable and take a very long time to disintegrate. Okay, cause many creatures to die oh so sad and microplastics to enter the food chain more non biodegradable plastic bags that affect the environment yeah I still remember the the straws that took into the nose of the turtle very bad huh? and very sad of the turtle what can you do to overcome these problems yes 3R for example reuse Recycle, re I cannot remember what is the the last R. Huh? Reuse, recycle, and re. Uh, okay, give me the answer. Okay. <laughs> okay, next one. Polymers and the environment. Various methods. More sustainable use of polymers is recycling. Okay, degradable polymers. For example, here the bottles. Even though it is a plastic, but it can decompose. Additives are aided to enable plastics to decompose naturally by bacteria. Produced plastic will decompose faster. Okay, for experience from me myself, the Tesco plastic bags is something like this. After a month or two months, the Tesco plastic will decompose itself. When I want to use it, the, the things just go uh, at the bottom. Plastic to pecah. Ah, uh, okay. It's a very bad for me. Oh, that's the end of our lesson. Thank you.